Alrighty, I am back. Since none of you said what you'd prefer, I think I'm going to start with the resin kit. And then we can maybe end with a few flowers. Let me see what I need for this. Hold on. Here are the flowers I made last time, by the way. I want to try to make another layered flower. We'll set those aside for now. Use this. Yoisho. Okay. So, UV Resin Kit Perfume Bottle Charm Blue. Says... Need resin, lamp, toothpick, pin set, tweezers, uh, scissors, file, masking tape, clear file, silicone mat. Okay. So this basically just comes with the mold and some decals. It's a cute kit though. They had this in pink as well and I almost got it, but the mold was the same, so... I wish it had been a different shaped perfume bottle, then I would have gotten both, but is what it is. It's really cute though. So wait, does this come with the film? How do we make this into a shaker charm? Oh no, spam! Let's get rid of those. We do. I got rid of them. That's the thing. I need to maybe make the delay for chat to show up on screen a little longer because it's up there forever now. Might need some more mods for chat and for Discord too. Um, oh, I deleted the message. I think I can ban them, but I assume it's a different... True. We could do followers only. That would help. Mm, okay. Number one. Pouring the liquid resin to cure it. Take the resin out of the mold. Cutting the film. Okay, so the bottom part of the decal is the film for the shaker charm. Okay, so this is pretty simple. So, oh, and then pattern for the film. That's cool. Okay, okay. So let's try to fancy this up a bit by using different glitters and colors for the perfume mold. I do like how it's opaque because you can see the shaker part a little better. We want to stick with blues. But we do want to make it glittery. Would not be an Abbey charm if it was not glittery. So, let me pull these out too. I'm sure we'll use the decals at the end. Wow, it bothers me that this is crooked. <laughs> Ugh, I can't get this open. Here we go. Okay, and here are the beads that go in the shaker charm. We won't pull those out yet. Here, pull the glare. Okay, so I need resin and pigments. Let me... Here's my resin. I need to order a new bottle of resin. And my pigments. Maybe we'll use some of these blues. Mix in a little bit of white. Turquoise, aqua blue, royal blue. Try to get a little gradient going, maybe? I think we'll do that. I've been really enjoying these colors lately. Put these pigments away. And... Turquoise. These are so tiny, but they're going to last forever. Royal blue. 
aqua blue. I think these will go together. Maybe we should go for more purple? Hmm. Maybe not the turquoise. Maybe we'll do a royal blue, aqua blue, and a dab of white. Seems like a good combo. Make it a little opaque. I'm unsure if I want purple in there yet or not. For now. Oh, I hope I have enough resin for this. Should be okay. Let's do that. We'll leave some room to stir a little bit. I'm gonna go in with the white first. We'll make it a little opaquey, and then marble the blue in. Oh, I forgot these patigo pigments. We don't use them. They get crusty. Got it open though. Actually, I'm gonna close it again and shake it because it does separate. We'll do a dot here, and a dot down here, maybe one more here. Let me get my little stirring sticks. Two seconds. I don't know, where are they? Where did I put them? Hmm. I know I saw them yesterday, I guess I didn't put them away away. Hold on. Well, this is not the right one, but it'll do. Let's mix this in a little bit. The thing about mixing in the mold is you get air bubbles, but I'm going to try to avoid that by stirring gently. I don't know. This is this is going to be a hit or miss. I don't really do marble coloring very often. Please excuse my dogs. They have no manners. Hey, 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 hey. Calm down. Okay. Not completely opaque, but it will give it a little more translucency than without. I don't know why this white pigment's so gummy. I don't like that. Let me get some tissues. Paper towels. Children, could you please take your fight to the other room? Mommy's working. then at what point do i add the glitter in you know what i'm gonna add the glitter now hey 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 stop children no worries we just got rid of the spam how is kitty doing i saw the photo today i haven't been able to reply yet looks so cute I'm sad we didn't get to take care of the kittens that they were that were abandoned at Panda's clinic. Not his clinic, but you know what I mean. I know it's a lot of work too though. Why is this white pigment so gummy? I feel like I need to replace it. This doesn't seem right. It is pretty old. not blending well it's like viscous she's still skittish she was a stray oh they look like that yeah they um someone was at the clinic 
all day, 24 hours, taking care of them. Just gonna do a dot, dot. We'll see how this blends. I hope this white pigment doesn't ruin everything, though. Used to know a lady who fostered kitties she found on the streets, but some of them became permanent because no one wanted black kitties. I guess... I guess people don't like black kitties because of jinxes and curses? I think they're adorable. I I almost said I had a cat, but it's a, it's kind of a long story. Hey, 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 stop it. Basically, I couldn't have any cats at home because my dad was allergic, but a neighborhood lady had, she took in cats all the time, and there was a black cat, and she said, this can be your cat. So I would go visit the kitty. It was my cat. I don't know how this is going to turn out. to over mix it because I kind of like how this swirly look is going but I do want to add a little more resin we'll add it from the top here oh I also probably should have been popping air bubbles as I went try now We'll see. This is this is an experiment. Let me get my UV lamp, which needs to be plugged in. Hold on. Let's pray that nothing shuts off because my USB port does not have enough energy. Okay, time to cure. Ooh, my stomach's growling. I might need a snack after this before I make flowers. It's not going to look like the sample, that is for sure. But hopefully, it will look cute. And even if I mess it up, it's only a dollar. I can go back and try again, I guess. I hope it cures with all that pigment in there, though. I also like that the shaker charm part's really tiny. You okay, Elle? Did you lose that fight? Taking a nap now? Wait, what is what one I bought this year? This kit? This kit I bought a few days ago. Oh, my USB hub? No, this is still my old one. I haven't set up my new one yet. Because I am lazy and I need to do redo all the wiring and cables for my computer. I'm gonna flip this over. Get another cure from the back. No, I just need to take apart this whole setup because it's just cables and wires everywhere. No, I know, I'm bad about getting these kind of things sorted. I want a setup where you can't see any of the wiring and it's beautiful and clean. I also kind of want to switch out my setup a bit too. I have my monitors on the corner right now. I have an L shaped desk. kind of want to move them over to the side, but that makes it harder to see when I'm streaming. So I don't know. Yeah, I do need those things to hide wires.
kind of didn't really go into this setup trying to make it look neat and stuff because I was like, well, I'm going to have to redo it in five, six, seven years anyway. Yeah, I, I need... I was going to say, I need to be highly motivated to clean, but what I need is a project that I'm procrastinating on. That gets me to clean. Okay, let's pop this out. Oh, I think I'm going to have to drill a hole in this because I put a little too much resin in. Hmm, back doesn't look great, but that can be the back side, so it's fine. Front needs to be cleaned up a bit, but... Oh. Ha, you guys can't see, sorry. Oh, it's hot! Hold on, I don't know why it's been doing this lately. It doesn't like to focus. It's okay. It's not the look I was going after. We'll clean up the edges. Back is kind of eh. But we'll go ahead and finish this as a piece because I do kind of like the marble texture. I feel like I should not have put the white in. I think that kind of ruined it. But let's... Oh, hello, sir. Let me clean this up and we can finish it up, I guess. It's still slightly sticky. But I think I need to pop it into my other lamp that has a little more power to get rid of that stickiness. So hold on, let me get my cutter. Where is it? wasn't the blade I was looking for, but my desk is getting messier and messier. I need to do a... Oh, I see it. It's on my other cutting mat. A uh, deep cleanse and organization day. Let's cut off these weird parts. That's why they said sand it. I'm just going to dome it, though. Actually, I don't think I even needed a blade for these pieces. They just kind of scrape off. The mold itself is really cute. I think it's going to be a cute shaker charm. Mm. I don't know. I kind of don't want to waste any more resin on this now that I'm looking at it. It's looking worse and worse to me. Should I just redo it? Sometimes... It's important to see projects through, and sometimes it's important to know when to let it go. What do we think? It just looks a little too messy to be an artistic marble to me. Also, the back is gross. Hold on, let me wipe it off. Are we getting oceany vibes from this, or are we getting hot mess vibes from this? Krogus cleanup. I mean, that totally could count for Krogus. Because ca craft areas are important. What do we think, guys? I don't know. I'm thinking this is more in the realm of disaster. And let's try again rather than let's try to salvage. Like, the front is okay-ish, but... I think I want to try doing this again without the white. We're going to ditch this. It's messy, huh? Yeah. Okay. Redo. Let me clean out this. Let me make sure scraps are gone. Sorry, Elle has her toy basket and is running around with it. Earlier when I took um, my break, Elle asked to go outside, so I shooed her out. And she came back and she wanted Sammy to go with her. So I had to chase him down. Because he does not know when to come when called. We need to work on that. Okay. Mold is clean again. Let's give this another go. So I'm going to fill it with resin. Then we'll just do the these two. We'll do glitter and the pigments. 
Wait, I see a piece of dust and I can't tell if it's on the inside or outside. Okay, it was the outside. Everyone just cross your fingers that the resin lasts for this project. And remind me on Discord to order some more. Please. Oh, why are you, why are you licking my toes? That is weird. None of that toe licking nonsense here. Let's mix this glitter in. We'll do a dab of pigment and then pour some more resin. I think if the white pigment hadn't gone all goopy and gross, it would have looked a little bit better. But sometimes it just is what it is, and I'll maybe replace that. Okay. Oh no, I got resin on my arm. Let's try this again. One drop here, one drop here. I think we'll just stick with the two colors. Won't add the teal, maybe one drop of teal? The beads are teal. No, we'll keep it simple. I kind of like it how it spread out just like that too. You know what? I'm just going to pour the resin over it. Just pop any air bubbles on the surface. Here, let me zoom in a little for you guys. Focus. Here, you can see the failure piece too. <laughs> Start here and go around. I do really like these colors. Okay, and then we swirl. I put a little too much pigment in, possibly. Okay, okay, stop touching it. Then a little bit more resin. be good. And let's go. I feel like when I stick to the colors and glitters that I know, like the way I blend and mix them, it turns out okay. But whenever I try something new, it's just kind of like, hmm, well, you tried. <laughs> But that's what's important, right? Trying new things. 
I'm going to drink some tea while that cures. I am getting hungry. What did you all have for dinner? I'm assuming it's evening for most of you. I know we have a few different time zones here, but since it is midday for Asia in Australia and this side of the world, I imagine everyone's at school or work. Oh, is it still summer vacation for some people though? Need to eat? Go eat. I'm going to finish this charm, but I may hop off after that. I don't know. I want to make flowers, but I also am losing concentration and we'll see. We'll see how this charm turns out. <laughs> Low calorie pasta. Ooh, I had that yesterday. It's pretty good. I have some sauce left over. Maybe that's what I'll do for lunch. Mm, mac and cheese. So I've been looking on iHerb lately and they have Annie's mac and cheese, Auntie Anne's, I forget what it's called, but they have like a not a craft alternative mac and cheese. I've had it a few times. It's pretty good and it's not too pricey. So I've been wanting to order from them, but I'm also trying to not eat too much unhealthy food because I'm going to America in a few months and I have so much junk food on my list that I want to eat while I'm there that I want to buy so I'm like well I don't really need to be ordering more junk food into my house at this moment but mac and cheese can save flowers for another day maybe we will we'll see we'll see okay let me flip this over we'll give it a cure I might, because I want to film the blind box video. It's from Kika Goods, I think they're called. They reached out to me, and it's a set of blind boxes I have never seen before, and they are so cute. I'll, I'll post a photo on sneak peek on Discord, but the video will be up probably tomorrow if I can get it filmed today. Excuse me, there was like a weird burp while I was talking. <laughs> Oh, I hope this piece turns out. We get a few more seconds to cure. Then try to make the shaker part. What are you gonna eat, G? Something yummy? I said I was gonna have a salad week this week. I've had salad once, so we'll we'll probably try to have salad for dinner. What kind of blind boxes? Where did I put them? Oh, okay. I'll grab one and show you, but. Um, I don't know. Okay, yeah, it does say on the side. It's gonna say, I don't know if you can see. Ah! Hold on. There we go. <laughs> My whole messy desk. There we go. It's, it's called Peach Love Peach. Peach Love Cat, I think was the English title. They're from Hong Kong, I believe. And I've seen these, like, the emojis and GIFs. Seven Designs and Hidden Edition. And I have, oh, I have six blind boxes. They said it was a full set when they sent it to me, but I guess it's not. So we'll see what I get. Hopefully no doubles. But um, if you look them up, the actual figures look so good. Like the quality. And it's really heavy. I think they're pretty large. I mean, the size of the box. They're like the Pop Mart size. I'm really excited, so I'm gonna be opening these after stream. I'm gonna do like a proper video because they sent them to me, but um, yeah, this will be up tomorrow or the day after, I think. But yeah, I'm really excited. Okay. I know, right? They're so cute. Jerry! Hi! Sorry, I just got really excited. You have them? Like the blind boxes? What's up, Jerry? Okay, let me open this. Am I in focus? Okay, let me zoom up again. Oh no, Sammy's barking. I think he got excited. Sorry, my autofocus is not working well. I have to do that weird focus thingy. Let's pop this out. Do you have a full set? I have six. And they said it, well, I guess... Technically, they said it was a full box, and I just assumed it was a full set. Ooh, this looks much better this time. 
we'll clean it up and make it into a shaker charm. So here's my failed one. Yeah, I'm glad we redid it. Much, much better. Okay. So, let me trim this. Just woke up. Hope you had a good sleep. I slept in yesterday. It's always nice sleeping when you have a free morning. Oh my goodness, what is Sammy barking about? I think he's just barking at Elle because I have the blinds closed because of the heat. So he can't see outside. Okay, that cleaned up okay. We'll set it on here and figure out the shaker part. Let me look at the instructions. There we go. You want secret one but didn't get it? I'm gonna have to look at the lineup so I make sure I know if I get the secret one. Not enough sleep? Are you staying up too late? What games have you been playing lately? Okay, take the resin out of the soft mold. Remove it by cutting or sanding down. Okay. Uh, film. Okay, so we're gonna cut this out next. Let me clean up my area a little bit. Let me zoom out a little more so it's easier to see. Sorry, it does that weird zooming in thingy. It's not supposed to. Okay, let's cut these out. And the secret is the gift box. Okay, I'll look at the lineup again, but the quality of the figures, it looks so good. And they said use double-sided tape, but it said go this way, I think. No, let me cut these out. Sammy, Sammy, come here. Come here, Sammy. Sammy, stop barking. Here he comes. I think none of my dog, neither of my dogs were barkers up until now. And Sammy, I think he just, you know, starts barking and he can't stop. He gets excited. He's pretty good about stopping when you tell him to. I don't think too hard. They're barely going to fit on here. Well, let's cut one out on the edge. Oh, I guess if I do it upside down, it'll fit. Look at us using our brains. I'm also going to trim it, though. And they basically showed um, on the uh, the tutorial, the instru instructions, I can't talk, to use washi tape to tape this down. So I will do that. You slept at one? One's not too bad. Playing Stardew? How far have you gotten? I haven't played Stardew in a while. Sammy, I just told people that you stopped barking. That is not stopping barking. No, I'm gonna go get him. Wait, I wanna do this before it gets unaligned again. Okay, barely, but that'll work. Okay, let me go get Sammy. Two seconds. So somehow they had gotten themselves between the blinds and the window and they were barking. Well, Sammy was barking at something outside. Okay, time to cut this out. 
I want to play Stardew. I hope he's still barking. Sammy, come here. Sammy, come. Right there. Crazy puppy. Oh. There we go. Hopefully it's a little bit bigger than the hole in the center because cut right along the line. Trying to get my pig to grow truffles so I can complete my community. Not enough food for pigs. Do you have grass starters? You can get hay from that. You can also buy hay from Marnie. Oops. Oop, I think I cut this a little too small. Hopefully it'll be okay. Okay. I'm pretty sure we need to do the back first and then put the beads in and then dome it. But I'm gonna look at the instructions. Just in case. Sammy, Sammy, come here. I think Elle's getting them all riled up too. Siblings. Um, clear file. Work on the piece after placing clear file with silicone mat underneath. Secure the heart shaped area to a clear file or silicone mat with looped masking tapes. What is it? What? What? Work on the piece after placing a clear file or silicone mat underneath, right? And secure the heart shaped area to a clear file or silicone mat. Oh, so they're saying glue it down. I don't need to do that. I think it'll be okay. But we will do the back side first. I don't know what he's barking at now. That might be too much. Got to make sure it doesn't slide into the center when you put the clear film on. Do you ever just tone out your dogs or children when they're being noisy? Like you just get used to the sound. Or your pets doesn't necessarily have to be a dog, I guess. I'll d I definitely get that way. And Panda will be like, Sammy's barking. I'm like, what? Okay, I kind of want to make it tacky first before I put the, whatchamacallit, film on it. Keep it from sliding around, but I feel like that could go very wrong. So, we'll just put a film on. Does what help? If I tune out Kiki, he rubs up against us. I mean, Elle will do that too. She will demand attention. But like, when they're outside barking, sometimes I won't notice because I'm too engrossed in whatever I'm doing. Where are my tweezers? I just had them. I use a different pad. Yeah! Oh, wait. I think there's film on this. Hold on, let me peel it off. There we go. I thought it looked a little cloudy. Whoops. I've had people, I've seen people saying that about their acrylic charms. Like, it's not clear. Mmm. Got a little 
dozen in the middle there, but I think we're okay. Let's cure that. And hydrate a bit. Sorry, I know this isn't the best visual. I think I got a bit dehydrated yesterday. I had a bad headache. It's so hard in the summer. You think you're drinking a lot of water, but if you're in the air conditioning and stuff, you don't feel hot. I guess you don't drink as much as you should. Get rid of all these little scraps here. I wonder if it, all these beads will fit. Let's clean up as we go. Aqua blue, royal blue. I love these pigments. I know that they're exclu or limited edition, so I'm kind of tempted to buy another set, but we also saw what happened with that white pigment, so I don't know how wise it is to stock up on pigments. Ideally, I would mix my own colors. That's good. We'll dome this side later. Let's put some beads in. Thank you. I will hydrate. Oh, I don't have a little bead dish. See, I have all these things. I just don't have them easily accessible. How many big beads do we want in here? Is this kit like enough for two, for three? Let's look at the sample. Looks like they have two in here and then the other beads. So let's mimic that. Do some of these, do some of the pearls. Make sure there's enough room for them to rattle around a bit. I do have some finer shaker charm pieces, but we'll just stick with what they gave us this time. Should I put another pearl in? Is that good? One more pearl? That kind of makes it a little tight. I'm just going to do two of each. I think that's okay. They have a lot of pearls in here, though, maybe? Maybe we'll do one more. No. Now we'll coat the top. Oop. Where did my resin go? Gotta be very careful with this one. Because we don't want anything sticking to the beads inside. Just gonna do a very thin layer. And then we'll dome after. And this is just to place the film. Okay, should be good. Where's my heart? Peel the film. Did you hear my stomach growl? It sounded like the Balrog from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Hold on, there's a piece of dust. I can see it. Okay, I would like to move it a little bit, but I know I shouldn't. Okay, let's just cure it. It's fine. This may be the first time I've successfully made a shaker charm. I have a bunch of shaker charm molds from Miniature Suite that I've been meaning to use. 
but I always thought two-part resin would be better because they're bigger molds. Because one, I didn't want to waste resin, and two, UV resin tends to shrink and warp a bit. But if this one turns out, maybe I'll give it a go. Shaker charms are fun to make. Mm, you like this chain? It's just a little ball chain. Then we can dome these and should be complete. Oh, no, no, no. We have the decals. We put these on the front. I think just the front. I mean, we can do whatever we want. Probably just put them on the front. Oh, you thought, oh, you thought it was. Yeah, that would be cute, too. Okay, you guys move aside. Haha, -ha, it shakes. Okay, I'm gonna clean up the edges a little bit. Sorry, I'm gonna do it closer to my face here because I cannot see. And then we'll dome and decorate. I can see why they suggested sanding it because the edges seem a little bit more rougher on this piece than other ones. I don't know if it's because it's the mold or what. I assume it's the mold because it doesn't have a little edge rim. I don't know. JJ. Is that like GG? <laughs> Yeah, I kind of want to dome the size of this one, too. Okay, let's... I forget which side's the back. Hmm, I'm actually quite happy with how this one turned out. Is the... here. Chain hole. Still open. Actually, maybe I'll do them the back last. We'll do the front. That's still flat. Actually, I forget which is the back and which is the front now. Do a thin layer. Do some decals. Yeah. And then we can dome. Just a thin, thin layer. I think I want to use this bow. I don't know how well it's going to show up because this isn't the pale blue that they suggested. But it'll still be cool to put a few on there for looks. May have French text, of course. Parfum. Parfum. Parfum of flower, I think it says. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce it correctly. Ferret stepped on your phone. Hello. Elle does that too when I'm playing games. She'll come and tap the screen. But she knows she needs to get me to put my phone down to give her attention, so. Usually means I've been on my phone for too long. Which reminds me, I put locks on my phone so I can't use it during certain hours. And like I set time limits for social media and stuff, but it's quite easy to press that ignore button. So I try not to do that today. Sorry, I'm cutting out to cows. You can't see. I like it on top, that's gonna stick out. Oh, actually, I should spread the resin first. Hmm. 
Your ferret just wanted to let me know that you're still here. Do you want to check in? It's okay, Abby. You're not alone. I'm here. Okay, this layer doesn't have to be perfect, it's just for the decals, but I do want it to be even, so it doesn't get lumpy later on. There we go. Pop this on, maybe we'll do a star or something. It's kind of hard to see. It's okay. Scoot you over a bit. Let me cut out. Hmm. The flower, maybe? I kind of like the purple flowers. Let's go with those. What kind of printer would you need to print decals like this? Because my printer... The colors are never as opaque and dark as I want them to be. Dark isn't pigmented. I've been thinking about investing in a Cricut because I could cut shrink plastic, I think. I think that'd be fun. That's cute. Should I do a little one? Should I do a little heart? Maybe we'll do a heart. Yeah, it's so tiny. Hold on, I need to trim it a bit more. Okay, do the heart. I kind of want to dab on a little more glitter, but we're going to resist. Maybe we'll do some on the back. Okay, we'll keep it simple. I could dab a few more things on here and there, but I think that's good. Which is better, Cricut or Silhouette? I don't know. I have actually looked into them both in the past when I thought about getting one, but I ended up with neither. And at the moment, it's been a few years. I was leaning towards a Cricut, I think, at the time. And most of my friends have Crickets, I believe. We'd have to compare features. Okay, that's good. Just need it to cure. Now we will dome. There we go. See a little better. Doming is the best part of making a resin piece because it makes it look so good. Try not to break that surface tension. Oh, I think it may have overflowed on the side here. Let's see. Okay. 
this a good cure? Stay. Wipe off. Tools. I am impressed with this Daiso kit. Makes a really, really cute charm. My foot fell asleep. Actually, it's waking up now. It's very tingly. I wonder if there's a Japanese brand of, like, a cutter. Because the Cricut is imported and it's very expensive. I tried to buy it over here. That is one thing I thought about buying when I go to the States because I guess I could bring it back as carry-on luggage instead of a bag. It's one way to bring it back. I don't know how taxing and stuff works, but if it's for personal use, it should be okay. Okay, long legs, thanks for hanging out. I'm gonna finish up this piece and I'm gonna go get some food too. I hope you have a good evening. Thank you for sticking it around. Keeping me company. Oh, that looks good. Okay, I'm gonna flip it over. Dumb the back. Maybe pop it into the big UV lamp because it's slightly sticky. Maybe I'll just take it outside for a bit. I think I will add some glitter to this side. Because why not? You know, I don't say it enough that it really means a lot to me that you choose to spend your precious evenings with me. And keep me company. And keep me productive. Because I know that there are a lot of streamers out there, a lot of entertainment sites out there for you to spend your time on. Awkward silence. <laughs> But I really do appreciate you all. It means a lot to me. You guys don't even know. There we go. Yeah, I keep throwing away my paper towel. Kind of want to dome it a little bit more, but we'll do that first for now. Watching you makes me productive in return. We're helping each other. Watching me is relaxing, except when I'm raging. <laughs> yeah, we might give this another doming after this. Sometimes the glitter makes the surface kind of puckery. But not always. It's moody. Glitter is alive. And has feelings, apparently. Where did the ball chain go? We'll finish this piece up. And then I will say goodbye and go fill my blind boxes. I'll post a sneak peek on uh, in the members chat, but I'll put a spoiler tag on it. So if you guys want to watch the video and be surprised with me, you can do that. Or if you want to know what I get. All um, Twitch subs and YouTube members from the, was it Lorian Lovers tier? Get access to my Discord. I don't hate it. The coloring could have been a little better maybe, but here, let me get a little bit closer. I'm gonna have to mess with my camera settings so it doesn't do that every time I wanna focus. Kind of hard to see the decals and stuff, but overall, I am happy with how it turned out. It's going to look really pretty in the sun, in the light. It's not too hard to tell what it is, is it? I 
Uh, it keeps sticking to the surface because it's like slightly tacky. Oh my goodness, hold on. Why does this feel like it's magnetic? There we go. Focus. Okay, that's cute. Like, I know once you buy the resin and stuff, it suggests you buy two tubes of resin, the clear resin and the blue resin. It's like a $3 kit, but I it's totally worth it. You get a mold that you can reuse. I'm very, very happy with this. I wish Shaker Charms were more this size. I'm sure there are molds out there, but the ones I have are a little bit larger. Anyway, I will end here today. Let's see if anyone else is on that we can um, raid. But I will be back on my Saturday. We'll probably do some journaling then. Mm, there are only big channels on right now that I follow. So I'm just going to say goodbye. But thank you so much for keeping me company, guys. We got a lot accomplished today. I got a resin charm done and I got my little kitty head done. And now that I'm looking at it again, it actually looks kind of cute. I don't hate it. So I will see you all on Discord, YouTube, Twitter, all those good places. Thank you again for hanging out with me. And I'll see you later. Bye!